Hi, we will set up AI agent for appointment bookings. Uh, simplest way to do this is to use a step-by-step -step wizard that guides you through all the step, all the steps from the agent creation through that deployment to call flow, zip trunk, and to a public telephony. Alternatively, you can select from a pre-configured templates and fine-tune them or you can just start from the scratch. I will go for the quickest option which is step-by-step -step wizard. I will select a pre-configured agent with appointment bookings tool, a Llama 4 LLM model and the GCP asynchronous streaming for the best uh, media streaming experience. I'll accept defaults for deployment to call for SIP trunk and on the public telephony step I will just select one of my numbers to and let agent to handle calls from a public telephone. I'm happy with all the defaults here. I will just change the uh, restaurant's name. Now add name of the agent. For the appointment booking configuration, I go to a tools tab on the AI agent settings and uh, we can uh, submit uh, appointment bookings to a Google Calendar and we can send appointment, appointment confirmation to SMS, email and via webhook if you want to integrate programmatically uh, with a VoIP number and take those bookings on your infrastructure. <coughs> now let's go quickly through all these sections. First time you do this you won't have a Google Calendar linked so please just click this uh, green button and uh, link your calendar. This gives VoIP number right to access your calendar and submit booking on behalf of your customers. You can change a uh, time zone on, of uh, time taken from uh, time submitted by a customer. If it's any different from your default calendar's time zone, a time taken by uh, and a time taken from a customer will be automatically translated mapped to your calendar's time zone. Attend this is just a list of uh, emails where you want to send a booking confirmation to. Your email is on the list by default. You can also add reminders just, just, as you, just as you do this on uh, Gmail. I will add a reminder one day before via an email and one hour before via an email as well. You can also add pop-up notification just as you do on Gmail. For the SMS uh, just select a source number where SMS will be coming from and select from your numbers or choose, choose auto uh, if you don't have any number in, in this case we will send it from, a, from an automatically assigned number destination is a list of numbers where you want booking conf confirmation to be sent to uh, finally, you can toggle option to send SMS with booking confirmation to customers. By default, it's on, so customer will receive a confirmation about the booking as well. Email section is where you configure email addresses to get a booking confirmation. Your email is on the list by default as well. You can add any others as you need. And webhook section is just a uh, place where you insert uh, your REST endpoints to, to receive uh, booking confirmation programmatically. So if I would like to do the, take a booking programmatically, I would add my endpoint here. It can, it can be HTTPS, it can be HTTP as well.
that's it so let's try this out start the screen recording which isn't the simplest okay. there we go. and same here this will simulate uh, my mobile phone this will be customers mobile Welcome to Ducky Duck Restaurant. Hello, can I book a table for tomorrow at 4 p.m. please? May I have your name and surname please? And your telephone number? Of course, my name is Tom Smith and my number is 112396. Booking made for Tom Smith on August 11th at 4 p.m. Your booking is confirmed. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal at Ducky Duck tomorrow. Bye. Okay, we received an SMS a confirmation with a booking on this mobile. Uh, we got email confirmation as well. We've got booking on uh, Google's calendar and the last bit we need is a SMS confirmation on a customer's mobile. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm.